As the lines blur between gender roles, marketers are changing their approach to accommodate. According to a recent study by Fusion, 50% of millennials believe gender is not limited to binary definitions, but lies on a spectrum. With a mission to connect the world, Facebook supports these views by offering 50 different gender options in the US and 71 in the UK. Alex Schultz, Facebook's director of growth, says, hopefully a more open and connected world will, by extension, make this a more understanding and tolerant world. These changing views are also informing the beauty industry. Embracing the idea that anyone can wear makeup, cosmetic beauty giants CoverGirl and Maybelline have brought in influencers James Charles and Manny Gutierrez to highlight this. The world of high fashion is also growing inclusive. For Louis Vuitton's spring 2016 collection, Jaden Smith wore a skirt for the women's wear campaign. Sex sells, but sexism? Not so much. Some of the largest companies in the world, including Unilever, Facebook, Microsoft, and Mars, have come together at Cannes Lions this year to create the Unstereotype Alliance. The purpose of this alliance is to eliminate outdated gender stereotypes in marketing. A study by Google and Ipsos, for example, found that only 7% of men can relate to depictions of masculinity in media. We've seen true progress in our industry, but it doesn't go far enough, said Keith Weed, Unilever's chief marketing communications officer. Our job isn't done until we never see an ad that diminishes or limits the role of women and men in our society. Brands who acknowledge us also have a strong business imperative for gender equity. According to the Alliance, progressive advertising is 25% more effective and impactful.